Welcome to November football. Temperatures low, emotions high, but it all adds up to a dominant Notre Dame victory over Florida State. 42-13, to the score on senior night with several veterans leading the way. With QB Ian Book injured, Brandon Wimbush was once again called on to lead the Irish in his final home game. And he came out firing with three first-half touchdowns, all three to fellow seniors between Miles Boykin and Alizé Mack as the Irish opened up a 32-6 halftime lead. A special moment for Wimbush after a tough six weeks on the sidelines. It was really emotional. I mean, the, the, the six weeks were, they were tough, but um, they were inspiring. Um, they, they did something to me and gave me a different perspective. So um, I was able to support the team however I could and then come out here today and obviously the motion showed. He's a great teammate. Uh, he's, he's been that way all year, uh, whether he's in a starting role or a backup role. And he led our football team when we needed him. Although Wimbush did have some hiccups with two second-half interceptions, he was picked up by the Irish ground game. Attacking the Stout Seminoles run defense to the tune of 365 yards, led by 202 and two touchdowns from senior Dexter Williams. When the spotlight is on, a lot of guys have to rise to the occasion, so I'm glad that um, the seniors could come out here and put on the show, even though this is our last game in the stadium, but this is not our last game for this season. So we have to uh, just continue to uh, control the emotions and just keep on moving. And through the offensive positives, it was another big night for the Irish defense, both early and late. Two turnovers, including a pick on the first drive from senior Nick Coleman, sparked the 17 to nothing start. And when Florida State looked like it found some life, a goal line stand put it away for good. Not only did the win cap the careers of several Irish leaders, it also captured one of their goals. And of course, it kept another goal alive. It was our second goal this year was to protect our house. And you know, this past summer we ran every stair in it. Um, and just kind of wove ourselves into it. And so, you know, to complete that goal um, on senior night with such a special group of guys really means a lot. That certainly was a goal, to beat Michigan, to win all of our home games, and to, um, to win in November. So 10 games and 10 wins into the 2018 season. The Irish are halfway through a clean November, now turning their attention towards a trip to the Bronx next weekend as they meet Syracuse at Yankee Stadium. For now, though, at Notre Dame Stadium, Matt Randall, ABC 57 News.